Jay Sellers, Legacy Infinity, Lindbrook, New York. I have a treat for you today. The 2012 Infinity Limited Edition FX35, Iridium Blue. Take a look. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, so take a look. They've done some changes and some modifications, but before we get into that, I want you to, one, take in the blue, which is absolutely beautiful, and two, let's get into some safety features and goals of this vehicle. You'll take a look at the front grille. They've altered it a bit, giving it a much more aggressive look. Now, let's get into the hood. This vehicle is a V6, 3.5, 303 horsepower engine, cat-like reflexes, just an incredible drive, extremely smooth, tight turning radius. The vehicle's engine, we discussed this before, I'll repeat it for those of you who haven't seen me, it's situated on the liquid dismounts, and the liquid dismounts are going to limit the vibration from the engine, powerful engine if you will, to the steering column. Second thing it's going to do is in the event of a head-on collision, those dismounts burst and they cause the engine to drop down and tumble safely under the vehicle at about a 45 degree angle as opposed to pushing through the, into the cabin with you and your loved ones. Battery and brake fluid. Battery and brake fluid on all infinities are relocated to behind the center line of the engine. Reason for that is most accidents take place in the front of most vehicles causing the battery or the brake fluid to be impacted and spill over on the engine. Plus, in the event that the battery is not impacted, in the event of those same incidents, it makes it easier. So that way you can actually move the vehicle out of harm's way. It's because it's not impacted. All right? Crumple zones are going to be located in the front fenders, rear quarter panels, quite naturally in the hood. And what they do is they actually absorb the impact. By absorbing the impact, you're controlling the collision. So the front of the vehicle folds in an accordion fashion. The majority of the impact takes place up front. By the time it gets to the cabin, it's almost non-existent. You'll notice the cat-like eyes on the Infinity, and, and there's a reason for that. Everything is by design. You're going to get by Xenon headlamps that'll give you about six feet extra visibility when it comes to distance. But if, if you notice, they wrap around the side of the vehicle, and the reason for that is to give you two feet of peripheral vision into the neighboring lanes. So you can actually get more of this as opposed to the tunnel vision that you're going to experience with most SUVs. Okay? Now, this is encapsulated in what's called Lexon. It's the same material as a baseball helmet, football helmet, and it's durable enough to withstand stones and things of that nature up to about, I'd say, 75 miles per hour without chipping or scratching your lens. In the Infinity FX, they've actually incorporated the front sensors as well as the rear sensors, and those work in conjunction with the cameras that I'm going to explain to you momentarily. Take a look here. 21-inch gunmetal alloys. Absolutely a beautiful wheel. These wheels are reserved for the limited edition FX in 2012. You're not going to find them on any other car. Okay? You're going to have breakaway heated mirrors that will actually fold in both directions as opposed to one. They are power, so you can control from inside the car. So when you exit the vehicle, you can close them and they will close in. So that way, if you're parked in the street, you don't have to worry about things taking off your rear view mirror. Now, real quickly, I want you to make a mental note that I'm pointing this out. There's actually a camera here. And we'll get into that a little bit more when I get to the rear of the vehicle, and I'll tell you what that's for. But right now, here and here, you're going to have double steel impact beams that are going to be located within the subframe of the vehicle. Reason for that is side impact. This car can take a hit from the side up to about 35 miles per hour without penetrating the inner compartment. And the reason for that is those double steel impact beams that we discussed. They're actually going to diffuse and absorb energy, preventing the incident from taking place inside the vehicle up to about 35 miles per hour. Take a look here. Back doors. Back doors are going to open at an 85 to 90 degree swing. And let's take a look inside the car. I'm six feet, and I fit comfortably in the rear. And this seat is pushed relatively far back, all right? But it, it's very comfortable back here. The back seats do recline a bit to give some additional comfort to any passengers that are going to be in the rear. The fact that these doors open so wide make it easy for people my height and taller, and I guess width, to get in and out of the car comfortably. You also can situate car seats in the car without having the door pressed against your back. I want you to visit the, the uh, Infinity website and you'll see, in, within the website, you'll see a portion of it that's called Snug Kids. It gives you some insight as to how to situate car seats, which car seats, and all our vehicles to achieve optimum safety. Why don't you follow me? In the rear of the vehicle, you're going to have LED tail lights. LED tail lights are, this, are, are safer than a conventional wall. The reason being is there's no split second delay. These are going to illuminate four times brighter, four times faster than the conventional bulb, and it's instantaneous. From the time you put your foot on the brake, these are going to illuminate. Studies have shown that a vehicle traveling at about 60 miles per hour is covering 88 feet per second. 
by shaving a fraction of that time off, you actually are increasing the response time of a motorist behind you by 22 feet. Now, the rear sensors that we pointed out in the front and the rear, these sensors are actually gonna give you audible alerts. They're located in the four corners of the car. And the reason for that is when you're backing into a driveway, backing out of a, coming out of a driveway, parking on the city streets, they give you an audible alert based on the distance that you are to any obstructions, whether it be a fire hydrant, another vehicle, a small child, a dog, so on and so forth. They're gonna beep, and the closer those beeps are together, almost making it a constant beep means that you're dangerously close. Now, the reason why I say that that works in conjunction with the camera is because this vehicle now has what's called not just a rear view camera, which is standard in FX, it's gonna have a 360 degree camera as an option. The 360 degree camera gives you a God's eye view of the vehicle. So your screen, that seven inch LCD, is not gonna only show you what's behind you, but it'll show you everything that's around you. Only vehicle in this class that's gonna have that, only company that has that. Now, when you see it actually in motion, and we'll try to do that when I start doing the virtual test drives, you'll see exactly how you can move, maneuver your car. You almost don't even have to turn around, although I highly suggest that you do turn around and use your head and use all your, 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 feet, your senses available to you to achieve safety. Follow me. The Intel key. The Intel key we discussed before is a key that you're gonna keep in your pocket, briefcase, pocketbook, if you will. And it works on a 21 inch proximity, which is about arm's distance. Walk up to the vehicle, press the button once. Now I've just opened one door. Press it twice, I've opened all the doors around the vehicle. Now once I'm inside the car, all I need to do is put my foot on the brake, press start and go. The blade key becomes almost obsolete. You never have to insert a blade key anywhere on the vehicle. Just get inside the vehicle, key is present in the cabin, Press start, go. Let's take a look inside. Let's talk a little bit about technology. Technology in the FX, as you know, with all of the Infinity makes and models, is going to be above and beyond expectations. All right, the navigation is a 20 gigabyte hard drive and within that 20 gigabytes, you have the 10.7 dedicated to the navigation, then you have the 9.3 dedicated to the music box. The music box for music lovers is simple. You put a CD in the face of the radio and by the time you hit the fourth or fifth song, the car has kind of stolen all the music and it's reserved right into your, into your hard drive. Meaning you can save up to about 2,800 songs directly to the vehicle. No need for a CD case, no need for any of those things that you have on the visors that clutter your car and make your car look congested. Very simple. The vehicle also is USB compatible, meaning there are some devices, iPods, uh, some of the other devices that, that are USB compatible, you can actually put inside your armrest and utilize it. All you have to do is plug it in and everything that's on that particular device will show up on your 7-inch LCD and you can control it either through your, your steering wheel, some of them are voice rec, and you can control it through your infinity controller. We discussed earlier that the car has 303 horsepower, so we know that it's quick, and as you can see, it's, it's, you know, it's stylish, it's not confining inside, it's athletic, it's agile, but now you have to think about this, you have to have talk about safety features. You're gonna have six airbags in this car. You'll have driver, passenger, you'll have side and curtain that'll give you some additional support, but you'll also have a roll cage in this car in the event that the vehicle flips. The vehicle can actually hold twice its weight when it's upside down to give you some safety there as well. I want you to take one more look at this vehicle and then I'm going to invite you to come see it personally and come see me, Mr. Legacy, Jay Sellers here at Legacy Infinity. But let's take another peek at this Iridium Blue Infinity 2012 FX35 Limited Edition. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sharing this time with me. I'm Jay Sellers, Legacy Infinity, 855 Sunrise Highway, Lindbrook, New York. Look forward to seeing you. Happy motoring.